and a Milwaukee man killed in a crash with a sheriff's deputy. The man who died in Saturday's crash at 10th and State has now been identified as 47 year old Caesar Stenson, a community leader and a lobbyist for Milwaukee Public Schools. Ben Jordan live at the crash scene in downtown Milwaukee after he got to speak with some of Stenson's closest friends. Ben. Stephen Shannon, a memorial for Caesar is starting to grow behind me. As you can see here, around a dozen balloons and teddy bears tied to this pole. Beneath it, you can see lit candles right next to debris left behind from Saturday's crash. The circumstances of the crash are still being investigated. Caesar Stinson's friends calls him calls his death a shocking loss for the entire community, especially Milwaukee's black youth. Our beloved brother Caesar Stinson. Um, just return. Inside G's Clippers, an open dialogue for black men discussing issues that affect them every day in Milwaukee, is missing the voice of a man who usually helps lead the conversation, Caesar Stinson. It's devastating because we were just together two days ago. Literally, I talk to Caesar every day. Guavana Antoine Nixon says Caesar was his best friend, wearing a scarf and brimmed hat in homage to Caesar's keen sense of style. I visited the site where my friend uh, lost his life and it wasn't a pretty sight. On Saturday morning, Caesar was driving at 10th and State when he was struck by an unmarked sheriff's deputy SUV, claiming his life. One of the things Caesar always said is, you can't sit on the sideline, you got to get in the game. He served on boards, he volunteered, um, he's a big supporter of violence prevention. Tonight, Milwaukee Public Schools and the Milwaukee County Sheriff issuing statements about Caesar's legacy. MPS says Caesar worked with them for nearly two decades as a lobbyist. Quote, he was passionate about young people in the district as well as in the community. Milwaukee County Sheriff Ernell Lucas says we pray that his family is comforted in knowing that his life had an impact on youth in our community. We lost a, a huge giant in this community. State Representative David Crowley credits Caesar for mentoring him since he got into politics. As we remember Caesar, we have to think about what he fought for and making sure that you know his life isn't necessarily in vain and making sure we push this community forward and making sure that we build a bridge of equity for everybody. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office says a deputy that was involved in this crash has been released from the hospital for minor injuries. He's been placed on paid administrative leave while uh, authorities investigate this crash. Reporting live in downtown Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4.